IronCAD DDM enhancements in the 2018 release of DDM. The first thing to note is that the IronCAD 2018 release is now supported. So if we start IronCAD and log into DDM, we'll start to look at some of the new features. So the first feature that we're going to look at is the ability to include drawings when using the save as command from IronCAD. And let's take a look at how this works. So we're going to take a look at a project and we're going to look at this conveyor assembly. So we'll open it into session. And what we want to do is to take this assembly and create a new conveyor assembly that is 50 millimeters wider. And to do that, we're going to have to extend this stretcher component and the roller itself. So with our changes made, we're now ready to save the model back to DDM. So we'll come to the PDM integrator and we're going to use the save as command. So the save as command is the same as before, except that we now have this option to include drawings, which I'm going to select. So the changes that we've made are to the stretcher component and to the roller. So we'll select both of these items and click on OK. So this will now pull the drawings into session so that they can be updated. The first thing we're going to do is to renumber the stretcher component. And we will change its description. The drawing will also be updated and the number will be transferred from the part to the drawing properties. So we can just click on OK. And the same for the roller. So we'll give this a new number. And modify the description. And finally, we'll give the top level assembly a new number. That should pull the associated drawing in and update it as well. So if we now go back to DDM and have a look at the workbench, we've got a new top level assembly with an updated drawing. And as well, we have the new stretcher with its associated drawing. So a very good time saver in the new release of DDM, allowing us to copy components within assemblies, but to include the drawings. So let's take a look at some of the other changes in this new release. I've got a new part here that's not been stored to DDM that we will save back to DDM. So in earlier versions of DDM we didn't see the preview of the item that we were saving until the item had been stored back to DDM but now in this latest release we see a preview of the item that we're storing. So we're going to select to save this back to DDM We'll give it a number and we're going to put it into a new category because there's a specific attribute that I've created for items in this category and that is the size box information. So we can see here that the size box information has been read from the IronCAD model and we'll take a look at how that works. So the key change here in DDM is that if we look at the part properties of this item and look at the custom attributes then any custom attributes 
that were created here were only read on the initial save back to DDM. If any of these parameters changed in DDM, then this information would be updated and written back to the custom properties in the IronCAD environment. But if anything was changed in the IronCAD environment, then those modifications were not read back into DDM. So we can see that the size box is currently 200 millimeters. If we make a change to this part and make it 300 millimeters, and then save this back to DDM, If we now look at the properties of the item, then we can see that the size box information has updated. This is actually using IronCAD functionality, so if again we look at the part properties and the custom attributes, the size box is being read through a formula in the value field here. If we take a look at another part, If we have a look at this roller that we were working with before, if we have a look at the properties of this item, and if we set up a supplier, in this case we'll select interroll, click on OK. If we load this part into IronCAD and look at the part properties. we can see that the supplier is showing the correct information. But now if we modify this here, and store this back to DDM, then we can see that that attribute has been pushed back to the DDM environment. The final thing that we're going to take a look at is I'm going to create another new part and we're going to store this back to DDM. So we've now created a part record in DDM. If we go back to DDM and look at recent items, then our part record should be at the top of the tree here. So this has been created as a part in DDM. And if we load this back into IronCAD, then because of the unique nature of IronCAD, it's possible to start adding things into the scene file changing it from a part record into an assembly which is not really what we want to do but something that we may do accidentally. So if we look at our add-ins then I've got the ability to here say I want to load a subpart and it may be that I look for that I look for a bearing. So I can load this item into my scene file and then if I'm not being alert to what I'm doing I could have saved this and it would have converted my bearing housing into a, an assembly. So the message here is reminding me that this item is currently stored as a part and cannot be converted to an assembly record. So it's a new warning that's been introduced into DDM to prevent us doing things inadvertently. So to now store this assembly back to DDM then I should first of all create an assembly of these two components and then in this case we're going to use the save as command again to store this back to DDM so the bearings not changed so we just click on OK and we now create a new bearing assembly And in this case, DDM has prevented me corrupting the existing part record in the database. 
So some good new features in the latest release of DDM when working with IronCAD, especially with the ability now to use the Save As function on an assembly, but to also include component drawings so that you don't have to recreate drawings after you've created the new items.